let a is equal to set 1 2 3 then how many equivalence relations containing pair 1 comma 2 are possible on set a is it 1 2 3 or 4 let's check first of all see here we are given set 1 2 3 three elements only and the relation is to be defined on the set that means from set a to set a what is the relation from set a to set a Let's look at the definition of relation. Any subset of A cross B is a relation from A to B. Now, in this case, in place of B, we need to take set A itself. So, set A to A we are considering. Therefore, any subset of A cross A is a relation from A to A. Then what is A cross A? A cross A is set of all possible ordered pairs that are made using these three numbers given to us. They are 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 3. These are the ordered pairs. Nine possible outcomes. Now, this is A cross A, the Cartesian product. Now, any relation is a subset of this Cartesian product. That means, few pairs you take out and use make a subset. Every subset that you make is a relation from set A to set A. But, you have to make an equivalence relation. Also, any subset that you make should contain the pair 1, 2. This should be involved also. Alright? Let's try to write few subsets. Say, R1, R2, etc. I am trying out 7 of them. In which, I have placed that ordered pair which must be available in the subset as the question says. So, I have put that 1, 2. Now, secondly, for the relation to be equivalence relation, the relation should be reflexive, symmetric and transitive. What do we mean by reflexive relation? Reflexive relation is a relation in which every pair of the type A, A should be available in the relation. A, A belong to R. For every A, which means 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 should be present here. Only then we can have the relation a reflexive relation. And only when it is reflexive, the relation would become equivalence relation. So, let me join those specific elements 1, 1, 2, 2 and 3, 3. These three pairs I am putting in all of them. I am putting in all of them. Though I have put and written 7 subsets. All of them are same. There is no difference between them. So, so far I am writing only one set. It is for trying out all possibilities by keeping all the conditions. Let me go ahead. Second thing for the equivalence relation is, it should be a symmetric relation. What do we mean by symmetric relation? If a pair A comma B is available in the relation, it should imply that the pair B comma A also is available in the relation for every A and B. That means, look at the pair 1 comma 2, it is like A comma B. If this kind of a pair is there, to keep this relation symmetric, we should be using 2 comma 1 also, this one also. So, let us join 2 comma 1. Everywhere, only then the relation is going to be symmetric. And these pairs don't demand that kind of an addition. Only this 1, 2 is demanding the presence of 2, 1 to call this relations symmetric relation according to this definition. One more condition to be satisfied for the relation to be equivalence relation that is transitive relation. And what is transitive relation? That is, whenever a pair of the type AB, BC, these two type pairs are there in the relation, it should imply that A comma C also belong to R. Let's see. Here, we are left with few more elements. Let's see. Let's put one of them or few of them or all of them which are not used so far to make it an equivalence relation. Or, you have the option of 
not putting any of them also in case the set is satisfying the transitivity also. Let us check. Look, 1, 2, 2, 1. Treat it as A, B, B, C. B, 2 is same. A, B, B, C. And A is 1, C is also 1. So, for it to be transitive, when 1, 2 and 2, 1 are there, 1, 1 should have been there. Yes, it is there. Good. So, transitivity, this pair is following the transitivity. Let's see the other way also. Take 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. Treat 1 as the B. 2, 1, 1, 2. A, B, B, C. So, here B is 1 now. So, A is 2, C is 2. That means, 2, 1, 1, 2, if it is present there, 2, 2 should have been there. Yes, it is present. So, with these many elements, this relation is transitive also automatically. So, let us close the first one. And treat it as equivalence relation. It is an equivalence relation. It is symmetric. It is reflexive and it is transitive only with these many elements. Yes, it is a subset of A cross A. We have taken only these many elements and this has become already equivalence relation. So, this is one possible equivalence relation. There could be many more. How do we make many more? By putting these unused pairs, some of them or all of them. Let's go now. Remember, we are looking for equivalence relation. For that, it should be symmetric. So, in case you are putting 1, 3 in the second one, 3, 1 should also be put. Otherwise, the relation would not be symmetric and will not be equivalence relation then. So, let me put 1, 3 and 3, 1. To maintain the symmetry, I should put the pair. Now, in this present situation, just by adding these two, that is one pair, has it become as an equivalence relation. The reflexivity is not tampered. That is still there. Now, symmetry with 1, 2 and 2, 1 was already there, maintained. 1, 3, 3, 1 we have maintained just now. But, is it transitive relation? How do we check? Is it transitive relation? Look very carefully. Is it transitive relation? 2, 1, 1, 3. Consider this 2, 1 and 1, 3. 2, 1 and 1, 3 demand the presence of 2, 3 to call it transitive relation. 2, 1, 1, 3 is in the form of A, B, B, C. A, B, B, C. But 2, 3 is the A, C. Is it available? Do we have 2, 3? Did we take 2, 3? No, not so far. So, we have to admit that 2, 1, 1, 3 are there. But 2, 3 is not available. Hence, not transitive. This way, if you make a subset, it will not be transitive. Hence, it's not equivalence relation. So, we cannot count this subset under the required condition. Okay. Let's try another pair. Had we taken 3, 2 and 2, 3? 3, 2 and 2, 3. These two. Then also almost the similar thing would have happened. Yes. The relation is symmetric of course. Symmetry is maintained. A, B, B, A possibility. Fine. But this again goes against the transitivity. Why? Here it is. 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2, 3. They are in the form A, B, B, C. So, 1, 3 is to be there to call it transitive. We did not take 1, 3 this time. 1, 3 was taken in the previous one. Now, we have not taken. So, we have to admit that this also not transitive. Leave it. Now, as we have observed, these four, we first put 1, 3, 3, 1 pair, not transitive. Then we put the other pair, 2, 3, 3, 2, now also not transitive. But, if you keep all four of them, all four of them if we keep, now, 
the transitivity is fulfilled because here 2113 in this case you consider 2113 2113 is in the form a b b c then 23 should have been there yes 23 is this time there also 3112 3112 gives you 32 here in fact what happened is all four unused ones are placed now now it is transitive also hence this also this example can also be counted as an equivalence relation so what did we do we put one pair we put the other pair then we put both pairs that is four of them so this fourth case came out to be an equivalence relation this was already an equivalence relation one more equivalence relation is it any other possible ways these four pairs could be put no if you put only one of them one three here no point if i put one three alone since three one is not there symmetry will not be possible same thing would happen if you put any one single one or any three of them that will also not give you the symmetric relation hence the remaining possibilities that we were trying we will strike out no more possibility hence we can find only two equivalence relations in which this particular element one two is a must so the number of, uh, number of equivalence relations will be 2. This is the option.